What is corked wine? It's a very commonly talked about issue with wine uh, and an accusation that perhaps is made uh, too much uh, considering what corked wine actually is and the type of wines it affects. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna go through this video. Um, I'm gonna explain what corked wine is, what to look out for with corked wine, uh, what can be done to prevent corked wine uh, and what to do if you find out that your wine is corked. So first of all, what corked wine is, it is a chemical compound that uh, infects cork. Uh, so the cork used in the bottling process, it can be affected by this compound called, called trichloroanisole, which is shortened to TCA because um, trichloroanisole is quite a mouthful. Uh, but for TCA, it gets into the cork of, uh, of a wine bottle and then it will mix with the molecules from the wine and basically just ruin the product. So uh, in terms of uh, danger to humans, there's absolutely none. You know, there's no danger in drinking a corked wine. It's, it's not gonna be unhealthy to do that. It's just not gonna be very nice. Uh, so this TCA uh, will kind of, it will dull all the flavors. So any sort of fruitiness or niceness that you'd associate with wines, that will kind of get dulled and destroyed completely. And aroma is a very strong indicator of corked wine. You know, a corked wine will taste um, it tastes very dull, perhaps a, a, a bit nasty, but really it's on the nose. It's going to be very wet, very damp, kind of a wet car body smell, like, like a kind of uh, dingy cellar, I suppose. Uh, and, and you'll smell that and it's very distinguishable and noticeable straight away. Uh, so this sounds like a nightmare um, to have this, and, and it is, it's really annoying. But in reality, uh, it only affects about one to three percent of wines with a real cork. Now, I say real cork because a lot of wines nowadays, they'll have synthetic corks, they'll have screw top caps, like this kind of miniature Cavedo here, uh, or they may even have some mushroom, mushroom caps like this. So those wines won't be affected uh, by TCA because there's no real cork. So one to three percent of wines, and that's only the wines that have real cork. So it's not gonna be a very common issue, but um, unfortunately, if you do have a lot of wine, it's gonna come up at some point in your life. Uh, now. The way to prevent TCA is, unfortunately, there isn't one. Uh, the wine industry is kind of minimizing uh, exposure to TCA with, with their corking process, but um, it, it's impossible to get it down to 0% uh, as we currently stand. So unfortunately, um, corked wines are just gonna crop up for a little bit uh, until we can sort that out, which is gonna take a, a chemical, uh, chemistry to chemical degree. I, do, I don't even know the word chemistry. That's how ill-suited I am uh, to solving this problem. Uh, but the, the good thing is it is a problem we are aware of. Any reputable wine cellar or restaurant will be aware of corked wine as an issue. And if you find that your wine is corked, uh, you can just return it for a refund, a credit note, or, or perhaps a replacement bottle, uh, which are the options uh, we offer here at VWP. So if you find your wine is corked and within three months of purchasing it from us, uh, you can send it back to us, we'll verify that it's faulty, uh, we'll give you a credit note, a refund or a replacement bottle. So any good wine seller will be aware of corked wine, it shouldn't really make too much of an impact on your life, other than perhaps having uh, a bit of a nasty smell to experience when you first open a bottle. Now there are some misconceptions with corked wine, uh, a very common accusation you might see is that if bits of cork get into the wine, then the wine is corked. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, corked only refers to this very specific chemical reaction where trichloroanisole uh, kind of destroys the wine, really. So if you get bits of cork in your wine, all that means is that there's bits of cork in your wine. You just have to filter it out, or if it's quite, you know, if it's easy to pick out, you can just pick it out yourself. Um, it doesn't affect the quality uh, of the wine at all, uh, unfortunately. Uh, it's quite common that you might break some corks whilst trying to get it out, uh, and with older bottles as well, the corks might be crumblier just because of their age. Uh, it doesn't affect the wine, I promise you. If you get some cork in your wine, just take it out, just filter it out, and your wine will be good to go, uh, as new. So uh, don't worry about corking your wine. Uh, the main thing to worry about is this kind of damp, dingy smell uh, that is caused by a very specific chemical reaction. Uh, so if you get a wine you think it might be corked, uh, it's probably useful to, uh, first of all, uh, check that it is a, uh, a good wine, you know, because uh, it might just be you don't like the, like the flavour, uh, but you know, if a wine has lots of really good reviews and lots of really good accolades, but uh, you're smelling and tasting something very different, that might be a sign uh, that perhaps something has gone wrong. Uh, it's good to reset your palate as well, uh, drink some water, smell something a bit neutral, and then approach the wine again. Uh, and if it's still got that kind of same problem, it, it might be corked. Uh, get a friend or a drinking partner to verify that they think it is corked as well. Uh, it can, you know, your personal taste might affect things. Uh, and uh, check that it has a real cork as well. Uh, it would be very embarrassing if you accuse something of being corked. Uh, it's not even got a cork like this little twist cap here. So uh, just go through those four little checklists and uh, uh, if your wine is unfortunately corked, uh, as will crop up in your life if you have a lot of wine, 
uh, just send it back, uh, let the retailer uh, or restaurant know, and I'm sure they'll be able to sort a replacement or refund for you. Uh, but thank you for watching here at Vintage Wine Import. Uh, we've got lots of videos on lots of different wine topics, uh, exploring the kind of styles of port, styles of Madeira, anniversary wine options, lots of different stuff, uh, all here on our YouTube and on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. So go follow us there, follow us here, comment anything you'd like to know about the world of wine, uh, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.